Day two at Sky Creek Ranch started out much like the end of day one, except colder. When we teed off for the second round at 8.40 a.m., the temperature was 41 degrees and the wind was already blowing 10 to 20 miles per hour. I w it was going to be a tough day for everyone. Number one is a 362-yard dogleg left par four with a creek crossing the fairway about 240 yards off the tee. The second shot is uphill to a green guarded by a large bunker on the front left side. The wind was blowing from behind me on the tee, so I hit a free hybrid down the middle of the fairway to about 140 yards out. My approach shot landed near the hole but did not hold and rolled off the back of the green. That lift a downhill chip that ran about 12 feet past the hole. From there, I took two putts for a bogey. Number two is a 398-yard par four with a slight dogleg right with water down the left side of the hole and a large fairway bunker on the right side of the fairway, about 275 70 yards out. I hit a driver down the middle again, about 135 yards from the hole. My approach shot landed in front of the hole and rolled to about 18 feet right of and past the hole. The first putt missed the hole and ended up about four feet past the hole. I missed the putt coming back for another boat. Bye. a 340 yard par 4 with a creek crossing the fairway about 240 yards off the tee. I hit a flat of the fairway. The pin was in the back part of the green and my approach from about 140 yards ended up about 15 feet past the hole. The put, put stopped on the edge of the hole. is a 136 yard par 3 with a very deep and narrow green and a creek that crosses in front of the tee box and wraps around the left side of the green. The wind on this hole was blowing into and across from right to left. My approach shot started out right of the green and I ended up about 10 feet left of the green on the edge of the hill. I chipped from there to about 4 to 5 feet up from the hole. I made the putt for par.
Good job. Number five is a 470 slight dog leg right par five with trees all the way down the right side and a creek which crosses in front of the green. I hit a driver and pushed it right into the trees. The only shot I had was to play a load punch shot through the trees to an open area near the cart path right on the green. Number six is a 317 yard par four with a creek that crosses the fairway about 250 yards off the tee. The green is a very wide, shallow one with two bunkers that guard the front of the green. The wind was blowing pretty hard, but I was concerned that, I, that a driver would reach the creek, or at least the area around the creek. So I hit a three hybrid down the left edge of the fairway that rolled into the edge of the, the rough. My second shot from about 140 yards out carried the creek but bounced back into the penalty area left of the creek. I was able to drop the, from the penalty area and pitch about 15 feet past the hole. The first putt went about 3 feet past the hole, but I made the putt coming back for a double boat. shot, Livia. Number seven is a 474 yard par five with a leg down the left side of the hole beginning about 275 yards off the tee and extending all the way to the left side of the green. I hit a driver down the middle of the fairway about 225 yards from the green. My second shot with a three hybrid looked quite good for a while and carried past the edge of the lake, but the wind pushed the ball further left and backwards into the lake. I dropped out of the penalty area about 80 yards out. My wet shot from there ended up on the front of the green about 25 feet short of the hole. My first putt ended up about 6 inches from the hole and I tapped in for a bogey. Number 8 is a 116 yard par 3 with a creek that crosses in front of the tee and extends along the left side of the green. My approach shot went left of the green and kicked into the creek left of the green. I dropped next to the creek and chipped out up to about 10 feet from the hole. I missed about 6 inches left of the hole and tapped in for a double hook.
Number nine is a 370-yard par four with a lake running down the entire right side of the hole. A fairway bunker about 210 yards off the left side of the fairway, I hit a good drive down the middle of the fairway about 120 yards out. My second shot was pulled left of the green about a pin high. From there, I chipped up, up about four to five feet above the hole. My first putt ran past the hole and I missed the putt coming back, ending up with a double bogey. Number 10 is a 335-yard dogleg left par 4 with a small creek that crosses the fairway about 260 yards out and trees lining both sides of the fairway. The second shot is to a very narrow and deep green. I hit a 3 hybrid off the tee and hooked it into the trees left of the fairway. My only shot was to punch out of the trees up just short of the creek. From there, I hit a sandwich onto the green about 10 feet short of the pin. I hit a pretty good putt, but it came up sh just short. That was a bogey. Number 11 is a 113-yard par 3, guarded by two large bunkers in the front of the green. On both sides, I hit a wedge into the green about 15 feet below the hole. From there, I just missed just left of the hole and tapped in for a par. Number 12 is a straightaway 483 yard par 5 with a large fairway bunker about 210 yards off the left side of the fairway and a creek that crosses in front of the green and a bunker that guards the left front of side of a very shallow and wide creek. I had hit a driver left of the fairway bunker near the car path about 235 yards out. I hit an iron yard par three with a light lake fronting the entire right front and side of the green. 
My approach shot ended up about 20 feet left of the hole, about pin high. After two putts, I had a par. Number 15 is a straightaway 463 yard par 5 with a large bunker guarding the left side of the fairway, about 210 yards off the tee. I hit a solid drive down the middle of the fairway about 200 yards out. I hit a 5 iron that came up about 5 to 10 yards short of the green. My pitch shot from there skipped a little when it hit and ended up about 8 feet past the hole. I missed the putt but tapped in for a par. Stop. Number 16 is a straightaway 371 yard par 4 with a large, deep bunker guarding the left side of the fairway about 205 yards off the tee and another bunker guarding the right side of the fairway about 260 yards off the tee. The second shot is fairly is uphill to a fairly large green guarded by two bunkers on the left side. My drive went down the right side and ended up in the right in the rough right of the fairway about 150 yards out. My second shot went left towards the green side bunker Number 17 is a 139 yard par 3 with a large bunker guarding the right side of the green and a creek left of the green. My tee shot wound up in the right green side bunker which was being rebuilt and considered ground to draw here. So I was allowed to drop up out of the bunker. 
a place where I had to drop left a difficult pick shot, which left very little green to work with. I left a, the shot short and ended up back in the bunker. After dropping again, I pitched again past the hole and two putted for a double bogey, five. Number 18 is a 450 yard par five with a large lake down the left side of the fairway coming into play about 220 yards out and crossing the fairway about 280 yards off the tee. On Sunday, the hole was playing back into the wind. I hit a good drive down the fairway and followed it with the three hybrid across the green and into the fairway about 100 yards out. My approach shot ended up on the green about 15 feet short of the hole. The first putt came up short and I tapped it in for a par. It was a rough day. The low round of the day was 83 and I shot 90. I was disappointed in the way I played. We knew it was going to be a very windy day and I should have been playing more conservatively.